What's up machines and machine freaks? I am up at the Jake the Toilet Snake Warehouse. He's got an entire dealership basically going on here, buddy. Look at how many bikes you got here. Every time I come here, there's like one or two more bikes. What are we at now? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. I think we had ten or nine last time. What the heck's up with this thing, dude? The uh, beta. Waiting on parts. Waiting on parts? You sound like another individual that I know of. You got a big race coming up, don't you? Yeah, this weekend, the 24-hour race is. 24-hour race. And you're uh, like 48 hours away from that 24-hour race? Yeah. So let's start putting these parts in then. Wait, no. We have 24 hours, or we have 48 hours, and this is the later portion of the day, so everybody's closing up shop. So you're really down to like 24 hours, right? Yeah, pretty well, it's gonna be less than that. By the time I get the parts, it'll be uh... Look at him, he's stressed out. He's supporting his head in frustration. Let's let's bring the viewers up to date because you took this thing apart like two or three weeks ago? Three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, and I don't think they, they've seen this yet. He was preparing to get this thing ready for the 24 hour race. He wanted to dial it all in, right? Yep. So he took all the suspension off. He's got the, the front forks off. He's got the back shock off. And uh, now that, that that's bit him in the butt. A little bit. <laughs> he is extremely frustrated. I don't know if you guys can pick this up. But Jake, you have plenty of backups. So why don't you just take a backup, buddy? Because my parents are racing too, and the 150 up there doesn't have enough power to run my light bar. Oh, okay. Like produces enough. And my mom's red bike there. The other beta? Uh, yeah, the other beta has a hole in the radiator. Hole in the radiator, huh? Yeah. What side? Well, this one? You, yeah. So we'll just swap out the radiators then and then you can ride this one? Oh, well, that's a possibility. <laughs> that's a possibility? Yeah. So we have a couple options to weigh. Yeah, but I'd rather ride this. But he wants to ride his. I'd rather ride my own machine. Oh, I see. And I know things are hopefully going to be prepared for. And if you break it, it's you just have to worry yeah, about telling yourself and not your yeah, parents. Fine. My parents are racing these three bikes actually, uh, two KTMs in the Husqvarna. And then the blue ones, yes. So. so they'll take all three of these for a backup then? One well, of them? They're each going to race their own, and then in case one of theirs breaks, they have a Husqvarna. Wow. They, they're so, dialed in, so man. They they're, yeah, they have backups, but Jake doesn't. <laughs> How's Seth's bike been treating him? It's on the stand here. Yeah, I don't know. That's bad. He beats, up, he beats the crap out of his plastic. Does he? Yeah. These are brand new, right? How? how no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, what, a month or two they've been on here? What's he got here? What's this? these numbers here? Oh, they did an enduro race. So option one, take this thing like it is to the track and then hope that that guy brings your parts. That's option one? Yes. Option two, take that radiator and stick it on that beta, yep. right? Yep. Option three, take no take uh, Max's yellow bike over there. Yeah. <laughs> or, or or Max's backup right there. Right, no, Max? No. The KTM 85. Neither one of them have lights either, but. But you got, a, you got a light bar, huh? Yeah. You got that for his birthday, you guys. Look at that thing. That thing's stylish. I think that's a Lucian Cherry, if I'm not mistaken. And that's what color I'm going to make the components on the Jeep. We had some difficulties with those. I'll show you that probably in tomorrow's vlog. Uh, we had a big problem, actually. I don't know if I... Did I show you that? Uh, Dude, the one guy calls me and he's like, Yeah, you want an Illusion Cherry, right? I'm like, yeah. He says, well, uh, it came out of the oven and it's not Illusion Cherry. And they're like, you better get over here. And they're an hour away. So this is like, you know, something of significance. So I got there and I checked it out. And it was totally not Illusion Cherry. But I got a video of it if you want to check it out. These guys will see it like in the next video. It's, oh, that yeah. is not a Lucian Cherry, is it? No, not at all. That's far from it. <laughs>
It's about the race. I signed up for the race January 1st. <laughs> Come on now, that was forever ago. You anticipate this all year round. Yeah. I only have it once a year. How many more of these bolts we gotta put in this sucker? I don't know. Some of these you can probably keep on standby. Yeah. I don't even know what the heck. I like the food tray. You know, you could take that with you and you could probably, you know, you have yourself that. a nice little lunch on there. Yeah. Huh? Get a nice case of tetanus and be a good day. <laughs> be a good day. Right to the head as we're trying to get a shot. Come on with you. Well, Jake, if you can't ride your bike, at least you'll have the heaviest flashlight there. Yeah. Dalton hooked me up with a light bar. He ran my wire information inside. Didn't he, know what he didn't said. pass fourth grade electronics, so we had to hook him up. But he put it. He put it in a a more. Do you want uh, one question? I have is do you want that little signifier on the on, outside or no? What that little on and off tab thing? Oh. I mean, obviously you'll know if it's on or off because you won't see a huge light in front of your no, face. We're gonna do that. We're gonna put that. You're on. gonna put it on there. Yeah. Be legit. Okay. Yeah, see, he put his in the the upper corner, and his parents put theirs right there. I kind of I I suggested back there. Jake, do you like that position so far? Yeah, I guess. He just couldn't find the connectors for the wires. Like, we have everything mocked up and it works. We just don't have all the, the ends for them. We got Jake's wiring mocked up. Now I want to check out the skidoo because they have this big pond up here. And during the winter, I think I crossed it a time or two. I think Kyle did too. And his mom yelled at us. And uh, I'm thinking maybe, like, during the summer we should cross it. But first we got yeah, but first yeah. we gotta make sure the snowmobile runs. How many poles we get to start this thing? I don't know. We got the, this name on there. Not not too sure. Oh man, you're gonna cover up the machine decal. You ain't gonna get your full power that way. Here, flip the switch real quick so the viewers can see what this thing's gonna look like. Holy cats. Jake and his family are going on that 24 hour race and they're taking a whole bunch of people. We gotta load up three bikes, these three bikes. What do we have? A KTM, a Yamaha, and another KTM. Sure. The Yamaha's a what? A 2018? 2018. Holy smokes! Fresh off the showroom floor. I could use one of these if we don't upload this video. Yeah, and I just. That's that's what the bark bark busters are for. Yeah, this one's <laughs> Sorry, Jim. Good thing it's not yeah, good thing it's not the 2018. I need this. We'll just take this one down to my garage there, Jake, and we'll just say that uh, this thing uh, turned up missing. That's pretty. That was a pretty cool trick you did there, Jake. Can you do that again for us? No, I don't know if Jim watches your videos, but you <laughs> my baby. May, Mason's gonna be like, Dad, get in here, check this out. Yeah. <laughs> Jake just totally dropped your bike. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the bark busters are for. So is this where the KTM's gonna go? No, the, all three of them are going to the back of the truck. No, I mean, I sorry, I mean oh. the beta. All good, buddy? Hopefully. Hey, you know what, though? The best thing about loading other people's bikes? If they fall, they're not ours. Because <laughs> you guys remember, like, 10 seconds ago? And I just... <laughs> Whoa! No, you can't do that! Now you gotta go forward. You can't ever... Put it in park, it don't work like that. I need to go forward, huh? Yeah. She's on. This is as far as we got Jake's bike. 
It's still missing the wheels, but it's got just about everything else on there, so it's, it's looking good. All right, Jake, good luck. Let us know uh, what ends up happening, whether you got to run the beta, the other beta, this beta, or what you got to do. I don't even think we're taking the other beta. No? Not even going to bring it back up, huh? You're for sure going to just run that sucker. Well, he sent me a picture of it done. So. Well, you better make sure you have the tools then. Don't want to get to the track and have the have one wrench not there. That's well, why I'll we, just bring a whole bunch of adjustable wrenches. There you go. By scribs. Everything small adjustable, wrench. yep. Crescent wrench. <laughs> Big and small even, ones. I bring any Flyers, sockets. channel locks. <laughs> yeah. So how do you think she's gonna do, Jake? If, is, she, is it gonna run with stock suspension then? Yeah, it, it's practically stock. All uh, right, stock suspension once he gets it back together. So yeah, this is gonna go to the race and he's gonna put it together on, on site and then hopefully race it and then you're going 24 hours straight. That's, no stops. Wow. Well, that's that's the name of the game. That doesn't mean everybody's going to do that. I mean, I'm sure I, not I a single gonna, person's going to do that. I don't think I'll be able to race 24 hours. 24 I, I know. Even, I, even with gas stops, you'll probably burn up an hour with gas and food. If I run 20 out of 24, I'll be happy. Well, wish Jake uh, good luck in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until next time, Jake the Toilet Snake, 3D Machines, and Max out. Let's do it.